through the Neurosurgery and Neurology Institute of Solidarity Bridge, we work to alleviate this unnecessary death and disability with a focus on education, resource mobilization, research and service, we are transforming patient care in Bolivia and Paraguay. We're back here at the Hospital Santa Barbara with surgeons, residents, neurologists who we've worked with and are developing a deeper relationship. These relationships have been actually even more deeply embedded over the time of COVID as we've developed Zoom platforms, as we have WhatsApp communication so that we have not just occasional conversations, but frequent and constant contact. The Santa Barbara Hospital in Sucre is a fairly unique hospital throughout Bolivia. It's the reference hospital for uh, not only Sucre, but the entire department of uh, Churisaca as well as the departments of Tarija, Potosi, Rural. So it plays a very large role in the ability of the residents of this area, which probably encompasses at least over a million people. It's their reference hospital for neurosurgical care. Neurotrauma is the single biggest problem that uh, they deal with. And neurotrauma represents probably 80% of the work that they do. We have a lot of patients who come to the service of emergencies, which require this type of attention. Many of them, unfortunately, with scarce resources, who at the same time cannot fulfill certain requirements or requirements that are required for this type of surgeries. In this way, Puente Solidaridad helps us, helps collaborate to be able to fulfill or to be able to give a better quality of life to the future to this type of patients. For one part, the medical staff of the United States come to contribute with their knowledge, with the technology that they manage, with the vanguard in terms of techniques, surgery and instrumentation. However, they also receive, when they come, de nuestros médicos bolivianos, la creatividad, la capacidad de respuesta a los problemas que se producen en la realidad de salud de nuestro país con las limitaciones que se tienen. Equipping doctors and nurses at Hospital Santa Barbara is key for us to improving access to health care of their patients. Donors from across the United States, doctors, nurses, medical companies, surplus recovery organizations all contribute to our equipping efforts. The team at Hospital and Sisters Missions Outreach, one of our greatest allies in these equipping efforts, make a safe and efficient delivery possible. Santa Barbara is one example of a hospital where we're doing this equipping work, but it's not the only one. This year alone, we have provided major medical equipment upgrades to five large public hospitals in Bolivia. But beyond that, we have uh, distributed medical supplies to over 50 second level hospitals and clinics throughout Bolivia, reaching very remote areas in the country. For all of us, this is something to celebrate. And at the same time, something we must continue to grow, expand, and hopefully replicate. Los pacientes se benefician porque Puente de Solidaridad tiene material disponible para realizar algunas cirugías que nuestro hospital carece de ello. Entonces Puente de Solidaridad además nos hace algunas donaciones que son de, de mucha utilidad acá en el hospital. Lo que se siembra se cosecha. Pienso que estamos sembrando enseñanza, estamos sembrando servicio. Estamos en una etapa de perfeccionamiento que nos va a llevar muchísimo tiempo. Pero todo esto va a ir mejorando y seguramente con los años y con las idas y venidas de la misión vamos a lograr un nivel superior al que en este momento tenemos. Just working with our colleagues at Santa Barbara, with Dr. Carias Alvo and others, Dr. Freya, we feel the common bond, uh, the relationship. And so that has developed over these years and will continue to be the foundation for all of our future projects. This is just the first step of a multi-year project. One thing that Bolivia has is a very rich human capital. The doctors here are well-trained. They want to serve the citizens of this country. Their desire is strong to provide the best possible care. And they're looking for more educational opportunities, more training, mentoring, and the resources to do 
the things that they know that should be done and want to do if only they had the resources available. The work with Solidarity Bridge impacts me personally and deeply. It's a different practice than I have in the United States. Sometimes I can bring resources, ideas, techniques that might be novel to my colleagues here. And oftentimes I learn much from my colleagues here too. So in between those two cultures and experiences, we share the science of medicine and the art of patient care. Let's invest. Let's invest in these services so that we can help everybody in this whole entire region have better access to safe, timely, and affordable care.